We charged our 2022 Tesla Model 3 long range from zero to 100% during a record breaking heat wave here in Las Vegas. So come along for the charging and testing process and stick around afterwards to dissect the data. These are not ideal testing conditions. It is record heat this weekend in Las Vegas. Right now it's not quite up there. It's only 113. So not ideal zero to 100 testing conditions, but we want to see what it can do in the heat. Well, here are the chargers, but I have 1%, so I'm going to keep on driving around a little bit and try to kill the battery to zero. Zero percent, here we go. It is 110 degrees outside, but it's 7.30, so the sun's going down. Plug in. Start the watch. This is our setup here. I don't know if you guys are able to see this. I'll place this right here. How about that? And now we wait. Here we go. Zero percent. Cranking up quite a bit. 111 degrees. One percent already. I know some of you think that we just sit here and do nothing while the car charges, but there's a lot of shopping nearby. So while this is happening, I'm going to go kill some time in the Walmart, Sam's Club, maybe get something to eat. We'll walk around a little bit. And for those of you who may be unfamiliar with charging curves of Tesla, once you plug in at a low state of battery, the rate is very, very fast. So you charge very, very quickly. Like right now, I'm still walking to Walmart, not even a five minute walk. We're at like 18% already. But then as it gets more full, more towards 100, it goes down, 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 down. So we'll get to 80% pretty quickly, I would say. And then from 80 to 100, we'll, we'll see. Wow, look who I found. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Oh. I just plugged the car in eight minutes ago. Guess what we're at? I just checked. What? 27% in eight minutes. At, at 8.01 p.m. It says we have 42% and okay. 45 minutes remaining. Do you want to spend 45 minutes here in Walmart? Yeah. If any of you want to get us a wedding gift, well, here you go. It says 73% but 30 minutes left. If we're on a road oh. trip, we'd be gone by now. But yeah. 100%, this is where it tapers off quite a bit. So we'll check out, I guess, and okay. I don't know. So we got a bit of a dilemma. Here are all of our groceries. There's a Walmart, and the supercharger is all the way, like, a quarter mile down there across kind of a busy road. You can kind of see it down there. So um, we only have one option to get the groceries to our car, not unplug. <laughs> I hope that was recording with our sweet setup. But anyway, we have 95%. It has been 49 minutes. We have nine minutes left. So we'll turn the AC on, hang out here for a little bit, I guess. Sounds good. 98% says five minutes left. It's been 56 minutes. Do you think it takes us under an hour to get to 100? Probably, especially when it's hot and like we're close to 100%. 99, 57, 45, we're close to 100. There wow. we go. Charging complete. I'll hit stop. One hour, one minute, 19 seconds. Let's go unplug and dissect the data. Sounds good. And also, by the way, it is still 109 degrees outside. So come on, there we go. All right, so let's look at the data here. We know that it took an hour, well, an hour and one minute to go from zero to 100%. It cost us 18.75 and the car actually took in 71.7 kilowatt hours. And if you're not familiar with that term, basically think of it as the EV version of how many gallons of gas your car can hold. So from zero to 100% battery, my car took in 71.7 kilowatt hours. So here's the interesting part, our charging graph here. So you can see the left side is my battery from zero to 100%. The right side is my charging rate in kilowatts. So zero up to 221 we topped off at and that rainbow line is the charging rate and the green line is my battery. So version three superchargers, you could typically get up to 250 kilowatts. The reason why we didn't is because it's very hot outside. These chargers have temperature sensors in them. So if things overheat, they won't deliver the full state of charge or full rate of charge, I should say, because they don't want things to overheat in the charger. So the reason that we didn't get to 250 is not because of any limitations in my car but rather because it was 110, 12 degrees outside and the charger didn't want to overheat. So it limited my rate of charge pretty significantly here. But yet considering all that, I took a screenshot here one minute into the charge to show that 
just one minute in, we already got from zero to 7%, even though we were at 218 kilowatts at this point, which again is not the full that we can get if we can get 250, but even then, in one minute from zero to 7% is pretty fast. Another screenshot here, two minutes in, you can see we're already down to 186 kilowatts for the rate of charge or the power, which is very low, only two minutes in. But we're already at 13%, which is still, I think, pretty impressive. But I wanna show you a side-by-side -side comparing this to a normal charge. So for comparison's sake, I took a screenshot of this charge here from a road trip we previously took in September. And just to show you what a normal charging graph or charging rate kind of looks like, when we plugged in here at 9%, we shot up to 251 kilowatts almost instantly. And then from there, we had a much slower taper down to slower rates of charge as our battery got fuller. We got from nine to 57% in 14 minutes, and we didn't have any significant drops like we did in the most recent charge that we did in the significant heat. And that was because when we charged here in Holbrook, it wasn't 110 degrees outside. But anyways, let's continue to look at our recent charge here. So at five minutes in, we're at 23%. But we'll keep going here 10 minutes in, even with the slower rate, already 10 minutes in from zero to 37%. Here at 15 minutes in, we're at 48%, which I think is still pretty impressive considering how hot it was and how much slower of a rate we're getting compared to what we normally can get in normal temperatures. 20 minutes in, we're at 60%, which on a road trip, I would probably unplug around this point. 60% is enough to drive for an hour and a half, maybe two hours, depending how fast you're going and plenty enough to probably get you to the next supercharger somewhere far down the road. But we'll keep on going here, 25 minutes in, we're at 69%, so plenty of battery. 30 minutes in, we're at 77%, charging down to 59 kilowatts, which at this rate, even a normal temperature day, it's about, I would say, an average speed. And then I took one more screenshot here at 40 minutes, we're at 88%, so from 30 to 40 minutes, just that 10 minute gap, we gained 11% of battery, whereas if you recall, at 10 minutes in, we were already from zero to 37. So you can see how much faster the Tesla charges when it's at a lower battery. So let's look at some of the charging metrics here. This app is called Tesla, by the way. If you're interested, I'll leave a link down below. Not sponsored, not recommended. I, I like it, I use it. It's like four bucks a month for all this data, so I like to see it, but there you go if you like it. Some things that stuck out to me here, obviously average temperature, 109 degrees. That is very hot. And range added, you can see 326 miles slash 100%. When my car was brand new, it had 358 miles of range. But we'll get to degradation here in a little bit. And then charge rate down below between 54 and 984 miles per hour. If you're not too familiar with kilowatts, this is another way to look at that. So what that pretty much means is not miles per hour, but it should say miles of range per hour of charge. So at our fastest charging rate, if we stayed at that rate for an hour, we would get 984 miles of range. But as you see, the rate fluctuates quite a bit and tapers down quite a bit. The longer you charge, the closer you get to 100% battery. So that range is gonna be pretty big. Obviously 54 to 984 is a big gap, but another way to look at kilowatts versus miles of range per hour of charge. And then some more numbers, cost 1875. And I like to look at this too, the average cost per mile added. So six cents to basically drive a mile for fueling or charging this car, which compared to a gas car, knocks it out of the water. And this is at a supercharger. So this pretty much means if you were to have this rate and drive this car 100,000 miles, if my math is right, it would cost you about $6,000 in charging costs. But if you charge at home, it's probably closer to like two cents per mile. So 100,000 miles would cost you about $2,000 to drive that far, which is crazy cheap compared to a gas car. And then my odometer, of course, 48, almost 50,000, which plays into the degradation. So let's talk about that for a second here. This app, Teslab, has a battery range performance. I'm not sure how they calculate it. You can read it here if you'd like to, but to basically run some tests once you deep charge your car to give you a good estimate of how much you would have mileage wise based on a full battery. And based on that, my max range right now, after almost 50,000 miles, is 328 miles, which may or may not sound like a lot of range loss or battery degradation, but let's take a look at this chart here that actually shows some data. Early on, between zero and 25,000 miles, you can see a pretty relatively steep degradation. 
And that's where you'll get most of your degradation or range loss in the first 25, maybe 20,000 miles of driving the car. But as you see, as you go on more towards 50, 100,000 miles, that plateaus quite a bit. So if my math is right, I have about like 92% of my full battery, if my full battery is 358 compared to what I have now, at almost 50,000 miles. So I'm right about in that middle there, I would say it looks like. But you can see as my car ages, as I drive more and more, even towards the 200,000 miles at the end of this graph here, I'll still have between probably 85, 88% of my full range when I first got the car, which over time, 200,000 miles to degrade that much is not bad at all. Well, I hope that was interesting and helpful for you all to see what that zero to 100 and extreme heat charging kind of looks like. If you like this video and want to see us do more fun stuff with our Teslas, please subscribe down below. But as always, catch you in the next one.